Here are your Court News Ohio top stories in five minutes. The Ohio Supreme Court hits the road for its off-site court program. On Wednesday, the justices will hold oral arguments in Williams County in the northwestern corner of the state. Nearly 600 high school students are expected to hear three cases. One of those examines a law allowing takeovers of underperforming schools and whether lawmakers violated the state constitution in their efforts to pass the legislation. Inside courtroom two at Franklin County Juvenile Court, Welcome. you see all the people you typically find in a family drug court, be it on the bench, you have to be testing and you have to be testing clean. And those taking part in the program. On the 12th day, I was able to go to sober living and that is a day the weight of the world came off my shoulders. I was finally able to breathe again. But there are others who blend in with the crowd, including Babette Feibel. I was raised in a family of people who valued volunteering, and I just always have wanted to give back to the community. For years, Babette has worked with multiple specialty courts in the county as a volunteer. Those include human trafficking, mental health, and recovery dockets filled with women isolated due to their struggles with substance use disorders. You find out that they're just like everyone else and they really need a break. And if they can get a break, that's what we're here for, you know? That's what God put us on earth is to help one another. While a lot of her time as a parent mentor is spent in courtrooms, most of it is making house calls, where she can be more hands-on with her services. One night, somebody called me from Grand Hospital at midnight and needed a ride home, and they never had anyone who would go pick them up. Even while seated, she can't sit still. That explains why she remains so busy even after decades as a foster parent who raised more than 100 children. You know, I figure I'm 82 years old. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna stop doing it until I can't do it because why should I waste the talent I have to connect with these people? Someone she's helping is Michelle Kearns, a first time mother who Babad helped rescue from the streets after being homeless for more than five years. A lot of people make promises and they don't keep them. And she said she's not like that. And she kept every promise from the moment I met her. And that broke on promise. Whether it's finding housing, coordinating transportation, or getting baby essentials, Babette's passion to provide for others is not only something she likes to bear, it's a selflessness she hopes to instill in others. Hopefully someday they'll remember that I helped them and they'll help someone else. With approximately half a million books on the shelves and just as many volumes digitally, the Ohio Supreme Court's law library shows how many laws there are and the number of cases those have impacted. Trying to figure out what a word means in a specific context can sometimes be a very difficult problem. Judges and justices take oaths to uphold the law. This I do. As I shall answer unto God. As I shall answer unto God. But what if they have trouble interpreting it? There's a lot of tools you can use, dictionaries, structural analysis, but corpus linguistics is another tool to help figure out what that text actually meant at the time that it was drafted. Contrived in 2011, Corpus Linguistics is an electronically searchable database of texts that generate real-world examples of how a word or phrase actually is used in a given context. As lawyers and judges, we ask linguistic questions every single day. Intrigued by the method, Justice Patrick DeWine wanted to hear more from those who've helped cultivate it. So his fellow justices, appellate judges, and judicial attorneys got a crash course. A dictionary cannot tell you what is the, the, the ordinary meaning of a phrase. In fact, if you read the front matter of the dictionaries, dictionaries even say that they can't answer that question. For example, take the word carry, as in carry a firearm. If you look it up in the dictionary, it has 30 different meanings. Corpus linguistics can provide judges with empirical evidence about a word or a phrase's ordinary meaning or its relevant clarity versus ambiguity. The most commonly used database is contemporary American English. It focuses on the last 30 years and takes words used in unscripted television, popular magazines, newspapers, fiction books, and academic writing. Some searches can produce thousands of real-world samples of how a word or phrase is used. In certain cases, I think this is something that can be helpful as part of a judge's toolkit to get at those thorny issues of statutory interpretation. And that's a look at Court News Ohio's top stories. Visit courtnewsohio.gov for the latest headlines on Ohio's courts. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.